Justice K. Babu held that the main factors of consideration, such as proximity of time, continuity of action, etc., were not emphasizing the joint trial and rejected the petition in the case of Jitin versus State of Kerala. The petition saw, sought to annul the final findings in two criminal cases or to give directions to the investigating officer, the IO, as a swap option for setting back the final report and submission before the special court under the FOCO Act for engaging in both the matters in tandem. The IO amended section 305 of the IPC and sections uh, 3 subsection clause 2 uh, and uh, sub, uh, subsection, uh, subsection 2 and uh, uh, clause 5 of the SCST POA Act after receiving information that the petitioner had encouraged a young girl to commit suicide. The victim was perfectly the victim of aggravated penetrative sexual assault on 18 December 2020 and on 13 February 2021. The post-mortem revealed this, and another crime was then reported under Section 3 Scientific Clause 2 of the IPC, and uh, Section 4 read with Section 3, of, uh, 3 Clause A of the FOXO Act, while directing the petitioner in both cases. In both instances, an investigation was finished, and a final report was presented to the courts with authority over the matter. The foregoing issues entailed offenses under sections 305, 450, and 376, uh, subsection 2, clause N of the IPV, uh, section 4, read with section 3, uh, clause A, uh, section 6, read with uh, section 5, clause L, section 12, read with section 11, clause 4, 11, clause 5, and 11, clause 6 of the POCSO Act, section 67B of the IP Act, uh, section uh, three, uh, three clause one subsection uh, W uh, and three clause two of the Scheduled Tasks and Scheduled Tribe Act of 1989. The truth is that on sections uh, on September 6th, uh, 2021, very late at night, a 17 year old girl was discovered hanging on a, on a ceiling fan in her bedroom. This led to a crime being reported under section 174 of the CRPC. Um, Section 220 of the Criminal Procedure Code was read, which lays for the procedure to be observed in cases of trials for multiple offenses. According to the court, it is an enabling clause for joining the uh, charges for crimes committed by the same individual, where many crimes or acts constitute components of a single transaction. The document clearly said that the court may or may not prosecute all the offenses in one trial, and if it does not, it fails to break any laws. There is no inherent right for the accused in an incident to ask for the joining of charges and the trial of multiple offenses concurrently. The court also stated that the concept of same transaction is fundamental in determining whether a series of acts is related uh, enough to warrant a single trial. The case of Mohan Baitia versus Baitia versus State of Bihar um, was also cited. The court said that there cannot be an all-encompassing methodology for assessing whether two or more acts comprise one transaction. The consistency of the conduct and the similarity of intent make it clear that the same or various offenses were committed within the same transaction. The succession of activities accused against the individual comprise the same transaction due to the immediacy of time, unity of place, symmetry, or community of purpose or design, as well as the continuity of activity. The SC demonstrated its inability to enunciate an equation of a universal applicability for assessing actions forming the same transaction in Anju Chaudhary versus State of uh, Uttar Pradesh, which is cited previously by the court. In a case with comparable facts, which is P versus State of Uttarakhand, the Supreme Court ruled that the offenses should be prosecuted and tried separately because they are unique in nature and character. Additionally, it was determined that for multiple offenses to be part of the same system, the same mechanism, the criteria that must be applied is to determine if they are so interrelated to one another in point of purpose or relation of causality and impact or as principal and subsidiary or so that they culminate in one purposeful action. According to the court, 
the alleged rapes occurred at midnight on uh, December 18, 2020, December 19, 2020, and February 13, 2021, and February 14, 2021, uh, with the former and latter following the same process of midnight and uh, uh, dawn. While the act of suicide was carried out between June 8, 2021, and June 2020, uh, uh, one June 9, 2021, the court declared that the aforementioned acts, one of which invo involved the sexual abuse of a young girl after breaking into a home, and another of which involved encouraging suicide by threatening to publish the naked photos, were neither related nor connected in any way. The court came to the conclusion that the collaborative trial was not advantageous due to the key factors of proximity of time, unity, or proximity of location. Um, and continuity of activity, which I mentioned before. The court dismissed the present petition after rejecting the argument that the conduct was one and the same transaction. So that concludes my analysis. Thank you.